Hi, attorney Steve Vondren here. I often get asked the question, should I go to law school? So I decided to put up my top reasons, my top six reasons why you should go to law school. Or if none of these things apply to you, maybe you shouldn't go. So here's my list. Number one, passion for solving problems. Passion for solving problems. In law, of course, you're going to get a lot of problems. People are going to have legal issues and they're looking for trusted advisors, people that know the law, that can advise them and walk them through their problem and help them cost effectively solve their problems. So if you like that, solving problems, law may be a good profession for you. And right up there is helping people and businesses. Both people and businesses need legal help. Number two, you love research and learning. This is very important. This is what we do every day. We're constantly looking up the law, looking up cases, trying to understand what new cases have come out, new appellate court cases, new Supreme Court cases, new rules, laws, regulations. So constantly staying up on the law. As the law is constantly evolving and changing. You need to have a passion for researching it, finding out what the law is, arguing what the law is, arguing distinctions in the law, why one case may apply and one case doesn't, citing precedent and those kinds of things. So if you love that kind of research, digging into the books, as they say, rolling up your sleeves, then law may be a good choice for you. If you don't like that, if it's kind of a burden, some oh my God, I've got to read, I've got to go on, I'm just saying. Number three on my list, Attorney Steve's top six reasons to get into the legal profession. Number six is you enjoy writing and communicating your thoughts and communicating the law. So this is important. This is what we do a lot. We're constantly communicating with courts, with opposing parties, with our clients, um, those kinds of things. We're discussing settlement. We're discussing what the law is. We're arguing our points of law. We're trying to negotiate settlements or posture something, get it ready for trial, um, taking depositions. So in communicating and writing your thoughts down, when I say writing, we do a lot, awful lot of writing. If you're a civil attorney, like myself, business and real estate lawyer, you're going to do a lot of writing and that's part of it. So the research and the writing and the communicating, you've got to have that thirst and that drive to do those kinds of things. And if you do, I think law would be a profession you might really enjoy. Number four, um, financial opportunities, um, the ability to engage in different practice areas, there's so many different practice areas. You can go to Fine Law and there's probably 50 or 100 different practice areas. Go to some of the big law firm websites and you'll see all the different types of, of law that, that attorneys practice from antitrust to torts, divorce law, criminal law, um, business law, intellectual property, trademarks, uh, real estate. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Estate planning, um, bankruptcy law. There's so many different types of legal areas that you can get in that if you play it right and you're, you're, you work hard, you're an entrepreneurial type of person, or if you're the kind of person that likes to work their way up in a corporate setting or work your way up to a partner of a big firm, then it might be something good for you. But I think law affords a wide variety of opportunities and you don't have to necessarily be a lawyer. You can be a judge. Um, you can get into politics. So it's a springboard into other professions and you can become a mediator and a alternative dispute resolution type of person. So there's so many different types of opportunities that really it's limited only by your own imagination. So if you like financial opportunity, the ability to explore different practice areas, to solve different kinds of legal problems, research and write on a variety of different areas, law may be a very good choice for you. If you don't like that, if you're, if you're saying, no, I just want to go into corporate America, and go, you know, work my way up, then give that some thought. That's, that's a real consideration. Number five on my list is the ability to be an entrepreneur, which also includes the ability to meet successful people. As a business and real estate attorney like myself, I get the opportunity to meet lots of different people from all walks of life, from homeowners to developers, investors, to business owners, to brokers um, running their brokerage businesses, whether it be selling business sales or mortgages or real estate transactions, all sorts of different type of people. And one thing I love about the practice of law is the ability to interact with such a wide variety type of types of people, joining associations, mingling with other people, 
and doing those kinds of things. So if you like that sort of thing and, and those types of opportunities to meet successful people from all walks of life, then law may be a very good choice for you. And finally, number six on my attorney Steve top six countdown, should I go to law school, is developing your analytical abilities, the ability to think and reason and use logic. I know my wife would tell me, you, you must have missed the boat on that one. But, but honestly, having that ability to think through problems, work your way through it. Um, if you remember math, showing your work and, and really analyzing your way through a problem. Um, if you enjoy that, law can be a very fascinating career for you. And it, as I mentioned, has great opportunities for crossover. Now, I've seen a lot of attorneys go, well, you know, I, I have my JD and I can't really do much with it. Okay, that's great. There may be some people out there that can't figure out how to make things work, but I really believe if you can develop your analytical skills, your writing skills, your research skills, if you have the ability to interact with the successful people, and not to say everybody's successful, you meet clients from all walks of life, but if you have those abilities and that exposure to these types of issues over time, I really think you're positioning yourself to be somebody that's very valuable in the marketplace. Even if it's from uh, a starting your own business or creating your own company as like a sales organization, becoming a better salesperson, I think law is a great uh, successful tool for you to basically get to learn all the ins and outs, the rules of the game, and make yourself a better person and, and hopefully profitable in the process. So that's all about all I have to say. And if you're asking, uh, should I go to law school? These are Attorney Steve's top six reasons why law may be a good career choice for you. You also have to factor in your student loans, what's it going to cost you, how long is it going to take, um, those kinds of things you need to be thinking about interning, getting in, working with firms, exploring your practice areas so when you get let, when you pass the bar and you get, get let loose out of the gate, you're ready to go, you have some, some valuable marketable skills. I think that all that's very important, but if you do all that, I think law can be a very, very rewarding career. I love it. I love it so much I went and passed two bars. I'm licensed in Arizona and California. So uh, this is what I love to do. If it's something you're considering or you want to talk to someone about it, give me a shout out. Say, hey, Attorney Steve, talk to me. I've been thinking about doing this. There's nothing. I love, well, there are things I love talking about more, but I enjoy talking to young people that are trying to find their way through life and say, is this good for me or maybe I should stay away. These are the top things I think that will make you successful in this field. So I hope this has helped. And you can find me at attorneysteve.net. We'll see you again. Thank you.